Welcome back to the banks of Blue River Reservoir. My first shave here was Black Shroud, and then we did Phoenix Lights, and this is a giveaway, don't let me forget. The last time I was here was Thought Forms. This is a, a large lake, encompasses a lot of forest, a lot of land. Unfortunately, as you can see behind me, some of the landscape, in case you've missed my other videos, is from a forest fire that ravaged the Willamette National Forest um in the summer of 2020 this is a giveaway video i'll get to the details of that in a minute then the giveaway is for a set of phoenix lights that's the splash and the soap or any other set that is currently available in phoenix artisans lineup so if you can find it on their website it's available for the giveaway phoenix lights is not available and that's what makes this giveaway super duper cool. One of my all time favorite fragrances. I love it. I wish it would come back because I'm about to run out of Dio. I bought the entire line of it. Moon is getting back in the lake and running around. <clears throat> I'm here to do a review of Green Label Doppelganger. That is a clone of Paco Rabanne's Por Ohm. The 1973 classic real quick before i forget and so i can set it down i have used a pre-shave she's laying down in the dirt over here under the bank i wish i could get a photo pre-shave has already been applied real quickly too before we get going outdoorsman friend you may have seen me talk about this previously in videos i'm going to be doing a full review of that soon i have applied this uh it is already mosquito season and I can tell you right now, it works. I love it, but I'll give you full details of it in a video probably next week or the week to follow. Waiting on Doug to drop it again. It is an annual release. Let's get into this. I've already scooped uh, into my bowl here. I'm using my captain's choice. I have a first use Bic Platinum in my metaphor. This is the stainless steel. There is a new brass version that is out. I'm going to be whipping that up with my Doppler, uh, and that is also from Phoenix. The only thing that I'm using today that's not from Phoenix is the blade, the Big Platinum, and the bowl that is my Captain's Choice bowl. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing extremely well. I love this fragrance. Uh, I like Paco Rabanne's Pour Homme. Green Label is leagues beyond. It is so much better. Let's talk about the scent notes real quick. I'll put them up there on the screen. So for Paco Rabanne, we have rosemary, sage, rosewood. In the middle, we have lavender, geranium, and tonka bean. The base oak moss, honey, musk, and amber. What do you think of that backdrop? It's gorgeous, right? Starting with a little sprinkle. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. That should be good for the water for the moment. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build my lather in the bowl. I'm gonna build the lather on my face. So the base is oak moss, honey, musk, and amber. Phoenix Artisan's version is virtually identical. A couple of small changes. We add laurel and then the moss and the tonka bean are switched so there's is rosemary sage rosewood laurel that's the addition lavender geranium moss honey tonka bean musk and amber so we add laurel and then the tonka and the moss flip-flop there's a duck out on the lake I don't know if you guys can see it. The DOG does, and so she's letting me know. She's laying down right here now, over my shoulder, my left. Oh, this fragrance is fantastic. So it's an aromatic fougere, a classic barbershop fougere. I still stand by, um, I'm going to assume that you've seen my first impression videos, but just in case you haven't, um, a link to that would be at the top of my 
description. Oakmoss is definitely the star of this show. It is, this is a very green fragrance. And you can see it, you know, in the green bottle from Paco. And you can see it with the green label from Douglas and Fran. Real quick, before I forget, the soap and the splash were sent to me for review. I did not pay for green label. It was sent to me for review. Douglas, Fran, Huxley, and the PAA crew. I want to thank you guys. I appreciate you. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this review. I've worn this fragrance to work all week on the back of my hand. Half of that time, I also wore the original Paco Paco's version on my left. So, like right now, good example. I have green label splash here, and I have Paco Raban here. Something that I said on Facebook and on Instagram a couple days ago or yesterday, I forget when it was. One thing that stands out with the a huge difference between the two fragrances is I have a mirror down below. You guys will see that in the B roll. Um, the green label has a much more natural smell to it, as to where the Paco Raban, some of it comes across as synthetic when compared to green label. I didn't pick this up before. Green label was available in 2019 and then went away, I think summer of 2020. And I didn't pick it up then, uh, even though I wanted to. There's just, you know, so many things to buy. And we were in the middle of that pandemic towards the end of it. And, you know, just everything going on with life and raising a family. And so many choices. There's a bunch of fragrances I want to buy right now, but I just can't. I can't justify it either. Um, gotta be Got to be choosy, guys. Oh, see my shirt? Today is May 5th. Happy birthday to Wendell, Paps Shave Mug. If you know Wendell, if you know Paps, please wish him a happy birthday in the comments below or reach out to him if you know how to do that. Wendell is one of my dearest, best good friends and I love him very much. In fact, I'm going to love him a long time. And so, what was I saying? Revenge of the Sith. I'm wearing an Oregon Duck meets Star Wars shirt. Squirrel moment. This fragrance, this fragrance is very green, fresh, spicy. Get a little dip here in my water bowl. Earthy, slightly musky. Fresh and clean. This is, if you like fragrances from the 80s, if you like green fragrances, this is going to be right up your alley. I had someone ask me how would I compare this to Holo Green. I don't like to do too many comparisons with fragrances like this just because you might, it's, it's just not easy to do. And like what, something that I pick up might be something that you don't pick up. I was, so I was giving this a little bit of thought. It's more like, what if... Polo Green had a baby with fruit. And then Green Irish Tweed from Creed had a baby with Skin Bracer, aka like Shave Chaser, right? So you take Shave Chaser and Tweed, they have a baby. You take Et Tu and Han Polo, and they have a baby. And then that baby comes together, it, it makes a baby. That is green label. <laughs> you follow? You dig? Polo green has a much, to my nose, especially Han Polo. Um, I do have Polo green, and I have Sharp Dressed Man from Sterling, and I have Han Polo from PAA, um, and Han Polo is definitely the best as it is. Polo green has a vetiverness to it. A better beer accord. This does not. Um, one thing I like about Han Polo is that the better beer is a little bit more forward, it's more pronounced. Give me just a second to locate my DOG and I'll get started with the second pass.
yeah, she was down the bank quite a ways. And what a difference a week makes. If you caught my Vanulay review, which was six days ago, today's Friday, May 5th, whatever six days ago was, it was a Saturday. We had a high of like 85. Today's high was 58. And that's usually where we are this time of year. Uh, I often joke, half joke, that summer doesn't start in Western Oregon until July 5th. And then promptly at 5 p.m. on Labor Day, it comes to a, a screeching, tragic halt. Just phooey. <sighs> like Hong Kong phooey. You guys remember that show? That was a damn good one. The giveaway. Phoenix Lights set. So that's soap and splash. That's what I would choose if I didn't have it. Or if you already have Phoenix Lights or if you don't want it for whatever reason, any soap and splash set that's currently available on PAA's website. So the only thing not available that, that you can have is Phoenix Lights. But any other soap set on their website. So you can choose between Phoenix Lights or anything. Any fragrance. Soap and splash. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Hux. And PAA team. You guys rock very much. I appreciate you so much. I reached out to Doug a while back, asking him uh, about a giveaway. It's the first time I'd ever asked him um, that I recall. And not only did, you know, I was just looking for like a gift card or something. And then not only does the guy offer, you know, something, uh, I was thinking like a 20 or $25 gift card, but he goes and takes it beyond that monetarily by offering a soap set. And then not only does he do, do that, he takes Phoenix Lights, which it and Denade are easily two of my most favorite releases. <sighs> Going back to Tokyo Rose and Shape Chasers, probably. Um, absolutely love them. Let's get back. To, oh, so what do you got to do? What do you you want to know how the hell you win, right? Yeah, Tobin, come on, bro. What the heck? So, friends... Keep people on their toes. On Instagram direct message or Facebook Messenger. Either one. Send me a message that says what you want. At the very top of the description, I'll put a link to my Facebook Messenger or to my Facebook. And at the very top of the description, I'll put a link to my Instagram. It's pretty simple. Uh, all my social media stuff is Tobin's throwbacks. But I'll still put a link up the top. If you don't have Facebook Messenger or Instagram, I understand that. And if you don't, Just say, I don't have Instagram, or, you know, I don't have Facebook, whatever, something like that. Just let me know in the comments below that you can't, for whatever reason, I don't need an excuse. I don't, or not an excuse. I don't, I don't need a reason. You don't have to explain yourself, um, is what I mean. Just tell me in the comments below, you know, that, that you want to enter, but that you can't send me a message. Something to that effect, whatever works for you. So all you got to do... Just tell me, and I'll take everyone who sends me a message, and on a little piece of paper, I will write your name and what you want down, and then with my daughter or wife's help next weekend, we'll put all those names into a hat or a bowl or something. Uh, probably a bull, and we'll draw the winner. So to repeat real quick before I get into the breaking down these fragrance notes, send me a message, Instagram or Facebook, with what you want. That's all you got to do. Aqua DG, Green Label, bam. Outdoorsman friend. I'll be your friend. 
I'll be your friend till the end. Pretty sure if your name's Wendell and you want to cuddle. Rosemary. That's the top note. The very tippity top. Rosemary has like this. For me, in this fragrance, I've been you know, dissecting it all week long. Fresh green. The sage. So I love sage. It's one of the reasons like I love Strange Island and a few others. I really like the fragrance of sage. It and lavender both. I don't straight pick up a sage note. I've tried. It's kind of there, but it's not... It doesn't really stand out on its own. What I think the sage is doing in this fragrance is, in my opinion, uh, it's adding a grassy warmness. The laurel, that's the addition that is not listed, at least, on, look at that lather, um, with the polo, what's the polo? The Paco Rubin, Rubon. I think it's doing like a peppery, spicy, dark green to it. And yeah, that's the, you know, like the bay laurel. That, that, that type of laurel is exactly what it is. This metaphor, if you guys never used it, it's super mild. If five is average, I give it about a four. But it can be extremely efficient when you put an aggressive blade in it, like this big platinum. Get a damn fine shave. The lavender, I don't straight out pick up lavender either. What I was picking up with it, and what I think it's doing, is adding like aromatic woodiness. This is one of those fragrances that are so well blended, and everything is just coming together and standing out. My next review that I'm doing this weekend is also a Phoenix shaving product. It only has three notes in it. And they all stand out. Well, two of them really stand out. Geranium. There's many types of geranium. Many types. Some of them straight up smell like rose. We don't know exactly what kind this is. What I think this one is doing, though, is adding a rich, green, minty floral quality i don't like straight up smell mint but i think that's what's going on there it's so hard you know this is one of those fragrances there's a whole lot of green this is a green machine green machine and then you roll right into the moss and moss i'm surrounded by it in this fragrance earthy slight muskiness oh i did get myself right there i thought i might have a second ago i sure as hell, I sure as hell did caught myself and the thing is adding a musky tipness to it. And one thing that it, I believe it's doing in this as well, um, like I said, you know, the oak moss is definitely the, the star of the show in this. Uh, oak moss is often used also as a fixative. And what that means is that it adds life to the fragrance. I can get like eight or nine hours of fragrance out of this splash. Part of that is because PAA's splashes have a concentration of perfume that's equal to uh, most EDTs or more than most EDTs. The honey, I think it's doing like a, a fresh, sweet grass. Um, it's, this really isn't a sweet fragrance. It's not a bitter fragrance. Oh, so damn good. The tonka bean, a subtle spiciness, a soft sweetness. Grabbing my towel. Maybe. That lake's gorgeous, right? And a rich warmness. The musk and the amber, I think, are working hand in hand together. The musk isn't like overly strong. This does have a muskiness to it. The overall fragrance definitely does. And again, I think part of that's coming from the oak moss. And that's why throughout the entire fragrance, we do have a slight musk note to it. You know, it's nothing like a low haiku or a black belt. If you guys are familiar, you know, with the PAA stuff, more along the lines of a, a John Frum on when it comes to musk, like strength. Um, the amber, I think, is lightly sweet. 
rich and it's adding like an animalic muskness to it. This is a masculine fragrance from the very get go. A green, spicy, slight musky, old school banger. Straight up banger. The wife isn't crazy about it. The, she's generally not crazy about old school fragrances. Nothing new there. And uh, she's not a fan of musk. But if you saw my Thought Forms review, you know what I think about that. Let me reach over here. Oh, buddy. Look at that green and yellow. In my house, we're all about the green and yellow. It's the color of our Oregon Ducks. University of Oregon Ducks. We're huge college football fans. Volleyball, soccer. Our daughter plays soccer. Baseball, softball. Our oldest played baseball. He actually played some baseball in college. I played baseball. I also played football only up to my sophomore year. I, I played baseball all throughout high school. Oh, this fragrance. So this is a few hours old now. Oh, musk and that moss. The, the, the base notes is just this subtle spice, soft, sweet, warm, musky greenness. The green is there throughout. Oh, guys, it is so good. So damn good. So to recap, green, spicy, masculine, light musk, old school, 80s powerhouse, powerhouse, straight up banger. Damn good stuff, Major. Damn good stuff. I said it in my first impressions video that I feel like this fragrance was made for me and that's because I love earthy fragrances I love green fragrances I love old school fragrances and the label green and yellow well thank you for joining me and my DOG whose name I will not speak because she is sleeping she's still a handful she's still got that that pup going on Damn fine shave. The metaphor. Yeah, I got myself. That's what happens when I'm talking, though. Um, always took for granted just how tricky it is to talk and do a shave video and do it outside. <sighs> Hope the lighting is showing it better for you guys than it is for me right now. Send me a message. Instagram. Facebook. Direct messages with what you want if you can't do it let me know in the comments below wish Wendell Paps shave mug happy birthday happy birthday Wendell I appreciate you Wendell's a good friend of mine and I genuinely appreciate him I, I lean on him a lot for different things and uh, he's a true friend and I share you know life experiences with him and that kind of thing and I hope you're having a great 51st birthday. You're now officially into your 50s, bro. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Before you know it, you'll be drawing SSI and that retirement check. Oh, and you know what? While you're doing it, thank him for a service. The guy's a firefighter. Like, works at a firehouse. An actual fireman. They call him the fireman. That's his name. Y'all take care. I love you a long time. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, Hux. Green label. Don't know how long it's going to be around. Don't expect to be around forever. I expect to stay, you know, for a little bit. But, uh, yeah. You take care of yourself. It's only shaving. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks for joining us out here at Blue River. Take care. Welcome to the B-roll. I hope the shave went well. One nice thing about where we shaved from today is I have this incredible ledge uh, to accompany my stool. So I got 
a bungee cord hanging from that branch to try and get it down to just the right height. Just using the one mirror. There's my stool and my Doppler. Bring it back up and give you guys a 360. Of course it's starting to sprinkle right when I'm about to start my shave. That's all good. If I have to shave in the rain, so be it. We do have a little bit of a canopy above us. She's quiet for the moment. It was a lot prettier before the forest fires. I want to thank you guys again for joining me. I'm sure I just finished thanking you. I want to thank you again. Remind you just the little things. And if you can, this spring and summer, get out and enjoy them. A good dog is a tired dog. Y'all take care. Luna, speak. <laughs> speak. Speak. Luna, speak. <laughs> speak.